Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install the Jelly Bomb Jelly Bean ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. First of all, you do need to make sure you are rooted and have a custom recovery installed. Once you do, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video will take you to this website right here. Big shout out to my friend Josh Beach for putting this ROM together along with Team Venom. Anyways, uh, you will see Jelly Bomb, Jelly Bean ROM. You're going to need to scroll down. Be sure to read these first posts. Gives you a bunch of information about the ROM. Keep scrolling down. Go to the second post. And you'll see latest downloads right here. Uh, at the point of this video, there is no latest download uh, just because it's still uploading. So uh, what you can do is you'll find the latest download right here. So under latest download, click here, download the latest version. The latest as of this video on uh, October 9th would be 4.1.0. It could be updated in the future, so just kind of keep that in mind. But anyways, download the latest file. It will be a zip file. Transfer that zip file over to your device, whether it be internal or external storage, it does not matter. But once you transfer it over, you can go back to your phone. And once you have that specific file downloaded and transferred over to your device, you can go ahead and power it on off, because um, we are going to need to get into our custom recovery. If your ROM has an option to hit reboot recovery, you can go ahead and do that by all means. Once fully shut off, to get into our custom recovery, press and hold volume up, home button, and power button all at the same time until the first Samsung screen lights up. Let go once it does, so let go. And then it should reboot us into our custom recovery. In my case, I do have twerp recovery. Clockwork mod recovery should work fine as well. So here it is, team win recovery. Load it on up. First of all, as always, I highly recommend making an Android backup, so go to the backup menu and make one of those. I already have one. I actually just made one. So uh, if you do not have one, be sure to make an Android backup. Now, uh, when you install this ROM, the only, uh, it's, I always recommend wiping data, doing a full wipe, but the only time you can even consider not wiping data would be if you are on a previous uh, Jelly Bean TouchWiz leaked ROM, uh, any of those uh, leaked ones that have come out recently, that, what is it, LIF, LI, H, any of those leaked Jelly Bean TouchWiz ROMs. Otherwise, though, I highly recommend wiping data. And if you have any issues with not wiping data, if you're on one of those Jelly Bean leaks, go in and then eventually wipe data because if you are having any issues, you'll need to. But anyways, go ahead and go to Factory Reset and hit Swipe to Wipe. You'll go ahead and do a full factory reset of your device. Do make sure you have a backup of your, all your apps and contacts, etc. Once done there, hit back, go to cache, and hit swipe to wipe that. Go ahead and wipe your cache partition as well. Then go ahead and hit back, go to Dalvik cache, and hit swipe to wipe there. Then hit back, hit the back arrow once more. Now go to the install menu, and we are going to need to find that ROM zip that you have transferred over to your device. So it should be called Jelly Bomb JB Leak version, whatever the latest version is. Select that file and hit swipe to confirm flash. It's going to go ahead and run through the install process. You'll see Team Venom, uh, Josh Beach right there. It'll go ahead and take a bit of time to install this ROM, so you're going to need to be a little patient with it. The ROM size, uh, file size is pretty large. All right, and the ROM is done installing now. Now we can just go ahead and hit Reboot System. And once we reboot, we will be running that Jelly Bomb Jelly Bean ROM on our Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, the first boot up will take a bit of time since it is a clean ROM install. Subsequent boot ups will take a shorter period of time. But I'm going to let you guys check out the boot animation. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM. And there you go. Looks like uh, Samsung boot animation from the International Galaxy S3, I believe. And that's it. So that would be our boot animation. Again, be sure to check out my review video. I'll be going over many different features about this ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.